Oh my god, what is this fucking drama? Hey guys! Uh. This I video, I'm going to let you guys know right now. This is a bit of a retake because we did this uh, two days ago full screen. I got audio. I got no freaking video. So really? this is. Oh wait, you just told me that. I'm so sorry. this is the game that's going to be holding over Doom, or the Ultimate Doom. Now that we got that finished, and and um, well, this game and other games. Well, I do have possibly other games planned. In case this one is a bit short. Well, don't yeah. don't you guys worry. It's me. I will always come up with something. <coughs> Just do a splash screen. Just give it away. <coughs> Boy. No, no, it's still coming down. But yeah, for anyone wondering, yes, we do have the N64 version of this game. Because I actually saw the friggin' box on my shelf in my bedroom. I'm not even kidding. I seen it there last night. Uh, dude, that's impressive. A lot of people don't. Unless they're like hardcore collectors, a lot of people don't still have their N64 boxes. I don't know oh, why there's like a little Wait, separation line going down the middle of the video. It's weird. It's something to do with emulation. It's bizarre. So guys, welcome to Space Invaders! I honestly have no idea what the opinion of this game is, but one thing I can say... Yeah, we're going in default. Oh. I forgot it did that. <laughs> but yeah, um, one thing I can honestly say, I love this game. I played this game... Uh, single player, I even played this multiplayer. And one thing I'll give this game, this game is indeed, uh, this game is without a, a lot of fun. I, I will say, like, for a remake of a classic game that was made back on the Atari 2600, this game's a lot of fun. Well, yeah, I heard there's a version of Pong on PS1 that's actually pretty good, too. I remember seeing a review for it back in the day. I forget if it was just Pong or Pong oh. Revolution or something. It was some PS1 Pong Let's go. game. They had a bunch of different modes and a different like variations and so, stuff you could do, and it was actually supposed to be really good. Here we are starting off in Pluto. Pluto, best planet life there. Uh, one thing I'll say about this game. Oh yeah, there is a little bit of um, emulation glitches, as you guys see, like the black square that's coming around my ship when the uh, shield is enabled. That is not supposed to do that, it's just supposed to be uh, just a transparent purple shield that's on your ship. Emulators, what are you going to do? <laughs> I love it when I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically, uh, Pluto is the, um, basically your... Here, here's the aliens, here's the base aliens are gonna be fighting in this game. Ah, shit. That does happen sometimes, where you can just completely just... Just in a bunch of aliens like that, I love it. Hoi! Hoi! Okay, that was a miss. Good job, dumbass. Oh yeah, that music, only this level has it. Only this planet. Uh, each planet has their own music, which I find pretty cool. Hoi! Oh! Guys, watch this. <laughs> Double shot, I love it. That was by far my favorite power-up in this whole game. Just getting freaking double shot. You know, I was always happy when I got it. Does it mean you can do this? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't think it is anyway. 
a little bonus level. You go around shooting mo motherships. Oh my god, what? You guys see in this little uh, the motherships like actually just they actually turn a little bit left and right. I literally just I had this game ever since we had the N64, and I just took the most of that now. Yeah, I ain't slow, ain't I? <laughs> oh yeah, and with each planet, like whatever alien gets shown on the uh, on that display screen, if you're um. There's something in here called max energy, and if you get that, even when your special ability bar is empty, whatever alien is shown on that little display screen, that's the one that you get, like automatic full energy of. Which I find pretty cool. Can you do it? It's thank you. Oh, I love doing that. Ah, time stop. You're always a detriment. No, you're always a benefit, not a detriment. What the hell? That ah, shit. Let me go broke it on your ass. Yeah, I literally just took notice of that. Like the, uh,. The UFOs are doing this as they go past the screen. I thought they were just like static objects. No, like station and like just no. I thought they were just like sliding across the screen while the lights go around. Guys, keep this in mind. I played this game originally on a what a 10 inch uh, CRT TV. Well, let's say a standard size CRT TV. So come this fine. Wait. I love doing that. That's a little bit too much. Whatever. <laughs> it's fun. And this fu and this fun is like fun. Holy. Oh yeah. The boss will automatically drain whatever. Will automatically remove whatever special ability you have. And watch for this idiot. Guys, just listen to this music. You got like freaking hard rock going on here. Oh god! That was risky. Like, like I said, a bit of freaking hard rock here. But yeah, all of the stage musics are different. Like, all the planet musics are different. All the boss musics are different. Ah! I gotta watch it for this guy's final face because he will insta kill me. And I don't want us. Mm. And I don't want us in. Run again, insta killed. And don't mind the border around. That's emulation glitch. Here we are on Neptune. This one. What one does this one have? Oh. Oh hell yeah! Swarm missiles. Hello. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys will see, um, will soon see my, uh, my fav- one of my favorite abilities in this. It's absolutely freaking badass. Okay, let's see. Hoi! Love it! Hoi! Oh, sweet! Basically, these swarm missiles will go after the special aliens, and if there's none left, it'll go for the uh, highest, uh, basically the highest number of color. So if like there was more blue ones here, oh, no, I think it'll go for the most. I'm not actually sure how these work. To be honest, so don't mind me. I'm just talking a bit out of my ass. How in the hell I managed- oh yeah, you can do this for some reason, it just literally just shoot up your own shield and to the point that it just gets destroyed. <laughs> and for anyone- I don't remember now if I actually did that when I used to play this game when I was younger. Oh shit. 
I don't think I did. Oh shit. Oh shit. You're not dropping your freaking teardrops on me. That's a, I'm sorry guys, that's what it looks like. Looks like the red aliens are drop tears on me. Tears of death. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Destroy one, one of my own shields. Yeah, good job freaking dumbass. No special ability this time, but... We kicked some serious ass! Hey, shit. Oh yeah, and also with the max energy... Even if you just have one square of a special ability, that. that max energy will automatically fill it up. Alright, dude. Like I said, guys, like, this game, along with a few others, this, this was my 2001, 2002 right here, right? This is nuts. Yeah, I know we got a N64 car about a couple years late, go figure. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm not complaining about that. But yeah, playing two play with this is ridiculous. You guys have been wondering. Well, you guys have been asking me. Well, uh. I would rather not die, thank you. Oh, yes. Quick. Wait! We're a little bit overpowered? Don't care. Ah. Thank you. I had to hide under the shield because I'd rather not die. See. Oh! That, is, that trick is extremely hard to do. I didn't even freaking see that. Yeah, and if you take too long, yes. Whatever special ability, um, oh, whatever item the, uh, mother ship drops will despawn. Does it suck? Yeah. Oh god, the idiots are getting a little too low. Oh yeah, and if the, um, if the aliens manage to get on your level, they will literally swarm you and insta-kill you. It's kind of a jerk move, but it's also kind of cool at the same time. Good. I just died. I'm done left on center. Oh sweet. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Hoi! Hoi! I love it when I can do that. <laughs> just just spam a special ability multiple times. And I'm going to be saving this swarm missile for the next level because this this is one of the special abilities that actually comes quite in handy. I can get lots of radians at once. There's a few there that look like that. Yeah, some... Some special abilities I find useful than others. Hoi! Hoi! <laughs> oh, that's... That's beautiful. Oh shit. I'm not exactly wanting to see you freaking idiots swarm on me, you know? Thanks. See? I just lost the special ability I had. And yeah, here's a giant version of the, um, a the actual like, special aliens that were fighting, and it's what I like to say that, like, f that fits right. These guys, look at it! Looks like freaking rice! What the hell? I'm not the one getting married, so stop chucking rice at me. Oh shit, oh shit. Don't hit us with the rice, don't hit us with the rice, for the love of God. Oh, <laughs> did I just hit that thing in the eye? Uh, I had to hurry up and destroy that thing because, much like the previous boss, that thing would have just 
slammed right down on oh, right down on us. Here we are on Uranus. <laughs> oh god. The 13 year old in me is laughing like an idiot. Yeah, here we are on Uranus. Guys, watch this. Uranus is the be one of the best abil abilities. Lightsaber, anybody? I'm back. I'm back By the way. Yeah, Uranus is known for... I went in there and they were watching Jeopardy, right? Yeah. <sighs> Which Transformer transforms into a toy gun? Motherfucker said Optimus Prime. <laughs> Whoa! What good job. No, I don't think it's like a gun, but okay, here's the thing. I can understand people just don't know because he hasn't turned into a gun since the 80s, right? Hmm. And if you're more familiar with newer shows, fine, right? Yeah. But I think everyone and their mother knows that Optimus Prime has always been a truck, a fire truck, or something of that nature. Yeah. It's like um, so yeah, uh, an was... image if someone said that uh, last pause. But then again, we're just nerds who know everything about Transformers, so I guess, you know, we're always going to be a bit biased on that shit, but still. But yeah, there's like, this image that somebody sent last pause one time, like, like, who was the, um, a, it was a, originally, it was, there was a, um, a anniversary for a game. And it's, it was a, who just, I can't uh, hear what you're saying. But yeah, there was an image uh, that w that someone sent in last pause, and the uh, image said like, "Who I uh, celebrated their 15th uh, anniversary?" And it said, "The Legend of What?" And someone said, "The Legend of Donkey Kong." <laughs> I died. I was just like, "Oh, I facepalmed when I read that." I was like, "Really?" <laughs> I went outside the image and like, oh, uh, yeah, I saw an image on Cybertron that is as funny as it is sad. So, okay. New Legend of Japan. <laughs> oh. In Japan, uh, for their the Japanese Toys R Us, um, they had a um, redeco of R.I.D. New R.I.D. Well, 2015 R.I.D. Huh? Uh, Warrior Prime in Jeffrey Colors is like the, uh, the, um, the giraffe, the mascot. On Cybertron, the thumbnail for their podcast was him grayed out, and the character placed around him like when Optimus dies in the movie, but it's the, uh, it's the, um, Toys R Us version. Oh, okay, that's clever, that's clever, but actually also kind of sad at the same time. It's clever and sad at the same time. Mm-hmm. Ugh, it sucks. It's, you know what's weird? There's another story saying that Toys R Us is dead, but KB Toys is going to try to come out, come back. Good, good luck. Good, good luck. That's, that store's been bankrupt since way years and years before. I think I've been to a KB Toys like once in my life. So guys, in this case, for Uranus, Uranus rocks. Yeah, Uranus is awesome. Did you get to shoot lightsabers? Are we 12 year olds? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, this are we like 12 now? Like I said, like what the the first Uranus joke I made, like the 13 year old of me is laughing like an idiot. <laughs> And it was me laughing like an idiot, <laughs> like actually laughing like an idiot. <laughs> oh, you know what? I have after that Doki Doki joke, I have no right to make fun of any joke you say, because that was terrible. Yeah, that doom video, wow. I have no right to criticize anything you say anymore. Holy shit, I plugged out the camera. Hell yes. How the hell did you manage that? <laughs> Oh my god, I fucking, I'm playing Project 8, and I fucking fell Shit. as the camera was turning, and it like glitched oh. the camera out. Oh god, I hate this thing. Itself. This thing yeah, turns snowballs. Shit. Very deadly snowballs. Why am I getting so good at making these glitch? 
surprises the grim the glitch the uh the glitch gremlin like me. Uh oh. That's a AVGN thing, the glitch gremlin. <laughs> That even freaked me out when I was a kid. When I heard that noise, and when I heard that gigantic disc looking thing coming right at me, I'm like, oh shit. Because seriously, no. like yesterday, when I was staring at my pixie's ass for like 10 minutes, because the fucking game fucking quit, froze on me. Dead? And knocked there. Then there's the swimming through air. There's a few glitches I've been able to pull off and fuck too. And just some other shit in different games, like holy crap. Guys, just listen to this music. Here we are in Saturn. Space invaders and music don't mix, because when I think of space invaders and music, I just think of. Oh, this one. You know what I'm about? Yeah. This game, I uh, this, noise, this, like, this, well, one thing I'll give this Space, in, this space Invaders game, it got good music, I will give it that. I'm not very good at it, but I have played Space Invaders, who hasn't played Space Invaders, some version of it. It's not good to leave I mean, those stupid like, things live last. I mean, that's, it's, it's such a classic, I think that. everyone's played some version of this. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, like Pac -Man. I think well, in terms Pac -Man. of the, um, like the original Space Invaders, oh, hello, I played like a, um, I'm not very good at it, but I had a Pac-Man on, um, for PC, like an old floppy disk game, yeah, we're going back that far, I used to play all the time, I forget which one it was, but it was a Pac-Man on PC, and I played it a lot. Um, Don't freaking hit us. Other than that, I've never really been good at Pac Man, but I do like it. Shit. Who is this? Some other classics. I'm sorry. Who are you freaking there? I am terrible at Donkey Kong. Original OG Donkey Kong. Oh. Oh, I uh, hate that game because there's a version of it in uh, Frantic Factory. And you have to use it to get a special coin in order to get the last golden banana. What's the last golden banana, I think? Boy, yeah, I, I, I freaking hate it. Man, don't Wait. put me in front of fucking OG Donkey Kong. I hate it. Like, there's only four levels. I'm pretty decent at but I Mario hate Brothers, it. the arcade game, Mario Brothers, before they were super. Because here's the thing. Oh, it this is my life. Here's the thing about the original arcade Mario Brothers. There was a version of it. A I love version of it in every single Mario Advance and Mario and Luigi. I love combo attacks like that. There. It was in every single Mario Advance and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I don't know why Nintendo put that in, felt the need to put that in every Mario game. But it was always there. And I played quite a bit of it, and I'm pretty decent at that. I never beat it, or made it all the way to the end, but I've made it decently far. Um, and I do like that game. Well, yeah, like I said about the uh, DK64, uh, like, uh, there's a version of um, the original, like, 86 uh, Donkey Kong arcade game. Uh, in front of the factory, you need to um, beat it. Donkey Kong was in '86. Donkey Kong was like '81. Well, no, it was the or original. Like '82 or something like OG original Donkey Kong was like '81 or '82. Well, it had um, well, it had the um, like Mario Super Mario Brothers was like '86. That must be what I'm thinking of. Well, yeah, it had the, um, it had the, uh, bonus game of the, um, of the original, um, arcade game of Donkey Kong. I hate it. There's only four levels, but you have to do it twice. And I hate it. Oh, thanks, Jerkface. Also, a good classic that I have played quite a bit. I think some other, uh, 
Oh, I remember I also played Arkanoid a bit on the computer as well. That's another classic. <laughs> or as you may know it, Breakout. Oh, that! Is it sometimes called? Or Alleyway as it was for the uh, original Game Boy. Game Boy. Yeah, um, that's actually how I played it. I played the uh, original Game Boy version. It was literally called Alley, Alleyway. Alleyway, I'm not even kidding. And you had the little platform, it had like, uh, had like a little Mario that jumped into it when the game started, and, they, uh, and you jumped out of it when the game was over. Or when you got a game over. I really need to play more space shooters. Get over here. I want to kill you! Oh god, I should've went and you would get like first. Like radius and shit like that. I could use a double shot, what about now? Herodius. Whee! I love doing that. Or fucking showing you. Oh god. Oh, that game. And you know what the sad thing about that one is? It's actually one PSN. Oh wow. You can actually get showing me the one PSN. So wait, I I forget what was uh, what was so fucking. What was the interesting thing about that game? Uh, Japanese games were weird. Hey guys, di then, this was called the Brain Boss, I believe. The first thing I just destroyed, uh, I sent out the swarm missiles. This thing uh, sends out um, explosive bombs. And this thing just shoots a laser. So it's best to uh, destroy this thing, or la save this thing for last, which is the easiest. And you can just do that, you just spam your double shot and completely murder it. I wouldn't mind playing uh, fucking bullet hell games. I know, I should play more regular space shooters before I jump into that, so... Alright, so guys, that's gonna have to do it for this time. Wow. We went from Pluto all the way to... Saturn. That's nuts. And there's okay. still, and there's still a bit of game left. Believe it or not, I believe there's, there's ten levels in total. There's ten levels in total. We're gonna beat this whole game in two episodes. And so, um, next time we're gonna be heading on to Jupiter. Last Jupiter pause will be Earth. proud. Last pause will be proud. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll be so much a proud as a, as a triggered. <laughs> yeah, that one's that off. People need to bring that one back. That means that off a little bit. Anyone that knows about shots fired and lost pause, you you get the you get the joke. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the best anime. So guys, use a double shot on the like button if you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. As I said. Then again, I've wrote... Oh, God. I mean, I've, I've made some cringy stuff, too, so... The double shot is my favorite item in this game, because you can kill a lot of aliens very, very quickly. And for anyone wondering... That laser is not the only special ability that is my favorite. Will you guys see you know it? What? Will you guys see it in this level? Wait and find out.